place is very important to my work, um, primarily because it's been an important aspect of my life. Two years ago, uh, my husband and I decided to move um, from the South, where I grew up in North Carolina, to a small town in southern Vermont, where we live on a farm. Um, and I, I feel that I've had this major adjustment to my life. It's a more physical life. Um, again, I live on a farm, so there's barn duty, there's learning how to run in snow, learning how to be warm, to start the car. There's a whole different pace of life. Tell me about your book. Well, my book is about animals and our relationship with animals. Does that sound like something you would read? It's a more physical life. Um, and so again, that sense of what is home and the sense of home changing is, has become a, a primary part of my work. Motherhood uh, deeply influenced the stories in my collection. Um, to me, motherhood was a bit of an ethical dilemma. It didn't necessarily agree with some of my environmentalist and feminist beliefs, but I, I felt that it might be biologically and emotionally satisfying, and that ended up being true. And so suddenly 95% of my being was devoted toward the welfare of my children, and the other 5% of me was mumbling something from Simone de Beauvoir's um, The Second Sex, you know, woman, an ovary, a womb. Um, and there was a lot of tension in that, what I wanted, what I needed, and I think that um, struggle for existence, our need to persist, to see ourselves replicated in the gene pool, how much that changes our sense of self, that sort of um, exploration uh, finds its way into a lot of the stories in the collection. Life at home is a little bit crazy, uh, especially during the winter time. We have four cats indoors and four dogs, um, and hens milling around outside, two kids. Um, so there's a one-eyed cat drinking from you know the goldfish bowl. They're constantly mouths to feed. Uh, but I steal time. I, I write down bits of dialogue on the back of a dirty napkin, um, and I mull over lines uh, when I'm doing the barn. So I have to be serious about time management. I have um, a funny little space carved out for myself in uh, an old veterinary clinic where my husband's parents used to run uh, their veterinary clinic and it's lined with um, 70s goat husbandry books and little cow stencils around the window, but it's quiet um, and I bring in a dog with me, the dog sits at my feet and I get maybe an hour or two of writing done a day that way. Frazier, does that sound like something you would read? Yeah. I hope you like it too.